People with home security cameras what's the creepiest thing you've ever seen happen while you were asleep? A random guy helped himself to my backyard. Thinking he was a thief I was already picking my phone to call the non-emergency police line only to look back at my tablet and see him moving my pot plants. Only my pot plants. Some of which are very heavy. He even stepped back a couple of times as if to survey his handiwork. Once he was seemingly happy with their new arrangement he then left the same way he came. I have never seen this man before in my life. WTF. Doorbell cam went off at 3 a.m. Flipped to the live view and there was a deer standing in my yard staring directly at the camera, close enough that the camera thought it was a person at the door. Deer stood there for a solid minute just not moving. The eyes had that creepy night vision look, so it was extra weird, and then the deer took a huge shit while maintaining eye contact with the camera and that kinda ruined the mood. I came home from work one day and could see prints in the snow going up our driveway, then veering left into a field by our house and eventually leading to the main road. We were the only house on a long street. I could tell the prints weren't too recent as some fresh snow had settled into them. I checked the security cameras, starting at midnight and fast forwarding through the early morning hours, convinced I would catch on camera the weirdo wandering our property and trying to break in and murder us. After a half an hour of staring at the screen, the perpetrator finally came into view a horse from the field across the street had broken out and meandered through our yard and field by our house at around 5am. The bulled up was terrifying, the result of the prints was adorable and hilarious. One time my neighbor taped a bomb threat to my apartment door. When I walked out the door to go to school, I was in 5th grade at the time, I was like WTF is this? It was a drawing of an explosion surrounding me and my family with the word white in big black letters, so we set up a camera and this neighbor started pouring gallons of gasoline in our driveway, trying to set it on fire. He got kicked out and it was later revealed that he was dealing with severe schizophrenia and refused to take his meds. Not asleep but we were eating breakfast. There is a school down the street from our house. It's literally two houses down. Anyways in the mornings there's lots of traffic and children with their parents to school. They walk past our house nearly every day and we never thought anything of it. Anyways, one day there was a kid who we caught on the security camera running and there was some guy chasing after him. Turns out he was trying to kidnap the kid and we had it on tape. The kid got to the school and told his teacher and police came and asked to see what we recorded via camera. Shit's crazy. Watch your kids. Saw a woman talking to herself stealing my trash. I was so confused the week I moved in because every day I threw trash away my can was empty and I kept convincing myself I was just losing it. Finally got my cameras up and realized what was happening. Turns out the lady went to every can up and down multiple streets every night taking and throwing away trash. Found out she had some mental health issues and lived around the corner. Moved the cans to the backyard instead of the side of the house after all that. That's how identity theft happens. Check your credit reports. Smelled kerosene in my chicken house, not for first time, one morning. Reviewed cam footage. Good video of neighbor entering with kerosene can and pouring it on my birds. She hates me and my birds. Maybe just me. Kerosene can and pouring it on my birds. Should have called the police. No one takes kindly to miniature dinosaurs being abused. So I'm sitting in my living room at night. Just recently moved into my new flat. I'm in a basement flat, own entrance, in a little townhouse on the edge of town. Quiet area, lots of trees, cheap rent and like no public transport or cell reception. I'm living alone for the first time. I'd just set up the security cameras and hooked them up to a new monitor. The old one was ancient and gigantic. Hadn't figured out where to put the monitor. I'd never had a security system before. It was, at the time, on my work desk, which was at the living room window. I noticed this slight yellow glow out the window out the corner of my eyes, slowly getting brighter. As it does, I notice on the camera that there's a huge ass shadow cast across my door, visible from camera, to the left of the window, that looks kinda animal but weird proportions. I quietly shit myself. 
it sits there for a while, like a good 10 minutes, moving just enough to make me wonder if I'm imagining it moving. There's a kind of whining slash buzzing noise, but it's faint, and I might be imagining it. I suddenly find religion. Then all of a sudden there's a loud pop from inside my building. The glow goes instantly away, there's a sound like a really pissed cat, and then really rapid footsteps. I'm in like full cardiac arrest at this point, bathing in my own urine, crying for my mum. Flash forward a week or so, I haven't been eaten by a cat shadow monster, though I do have a sudden new interest in exorcisms. I meet the upstairs neighbors, older couple, when they're having trouble getting a large package up the stairs. They offer me tea as thanks. I notice their cat sitting in the window. Its movement reminds me of something, and after a while I realize it's the shadow monster. I ask a few questions to round out the details. Turns out the neighbors had one of those lights on a sensor which turn on when they detect movement. Cat jumps up the ledge, light turns on. But it was an eco light, so warmed up slow. It then went out, loudly. I'm too embarrassed slash relieved to recant the story, so I make my excuses, leaving the nice couple upstairs with the impression that their new downstairs neighbor is a weirdo who stares at cats, has a really keen interest in light bulbs, and a predilection for nervous laughter. They don't invite me up 40 anymore, but they do ask if I'm okay every time they see me. I quietly shit myself, as a gentleman slash woman would. I saw this one video of some guy in California that went to this house and spent 2 hours licking their security camera slash doorbell, disappeared for a bit and then came back to resume the licking of the camera for another hour or so. I put up a camera in my room to record myself when that was a whole fad. I saw myself kicking and crying in my sleep, legitimate tears and also muttering something. I saw myself reach and grab my hair when I curled into a ball. I don't even remember having a nightmare or anything that night. Definitely a reason to be afraid of myself. That's actually kinda terrifying. I would never want to a recording of myself sleeping. I've got night terrors. I don't really experience them much anymore, but I used to get them quite often when I was younger. If you don't know anything about night terrors, in my experience, they are basically intensely vivid nightmares where you are one half awake one half asleep. You feel terror on a level that no nightmare could bring you to, and you are half awake, so you sort of know what's going on. It would usually end with blood curling screaming until my parents could convince my half awake self that they killed the bad guys, or something to that effect. Eventually I would come out of it, realize where I was, it was never in my own bed, realized what I had see done, then just go back to bed, which is hard when you are filled with adrenaline. Sometimes I could see and remember all the details, like I'd wake up in the morning and know exactly what I had done. Other times I could wake up and not remember many details, but I'd but I would have a feeling or a very faint memory and confirm with my parents. The ones that were basically a lucid dream were the most fucked up, because you are fairly cognitive and have control of your body, but in your head you are about to be murdered by some non-existent threat. My dad caught me one night running out the front door, screaming it's going to blow it's going to blow. Luckily he was able to grab me before I made it outside. One time in college however I did end up running outside of my apartment. I woke up standing outside with a cut foot. That was weird. They took me to do a sleep study when I was younger, which was weird. They basically hook you up to a bunch of wires and tell you to fall asleep. In the morning they were discussing my recordings, and they said they had to come back into the room 8 times throughout the night to reattach the wire on my thumb, because I kept sitting up in bed and making a gun with my fingers, while pretending to shoot things with a slight smile on my face. I had no memory of any of this and it always freaks me out thinking about the things I do when I sleep. I wouldn't be able to watch a recording, because I would be too afraid to see my own self acting possessed. Luckily I've phased out of them for the most part, but every once in a while I will have a vivid dream of spiders or something in my bed and I'll just shoot out from the bed like a rocket. I wake up almost instantly though and just go back to bed. It's freaked my wife out a couple times. I live in an apartment unit right next door to the office. 
They installed a new security camera for their door which covers a part of mine as well shortly after I moved in. The office manager knocked on my door a few days after the install and asked me to come look at something. She pulled up footage of the night before that showed a guy pacing in front of my door for 6 hours. He even left for a couple minutes and came back with something he tried to stick in my door frame a few times. I was asleep the whole time and heard nothing. Turned out to be a recent ex of a friend of mine. I'd only met him once. Still have no idea how he knew where I lived unless he followed her to my place once as we live close by each other. Cops called. Reports filed. They eventually found him. He had been on a pretty bad drug bend since their breakup from what I heard and has no recollection of being there. Meth is a hell drug. I used to work for a company in California. Pretty small office just off the side of the road. Lots of gang activity around the area. They've got the ring doorbell camera so they can safely tell if they can open the door at night. One night there's a group of guys hanging around looking at our property. We don't think much of it because they leave in about 10 minutes. Next day a guy shows up and just walks into our fabrication shop in broad daylight looking around. Never has this happened before. Our boss intervenes immediately. Boss, can I help you? Guy, oh shit ah uh, hey there. A hey, are you guys hiring? Boss, no. You have 5 seconds to fk off. Guy leaves in a mad dash. We called the cops and they find him walking down the street 5 minutes later. Turns out the gang was planning on robbing our facility while we were on holiday leave and they'd assigned him to scout out the interior. We caught a neighbor who stole a package off our front porch that ups had dropped off. It was an expensive car part, idk what kind, my husband is a connut. He was very quick to give it back when the police showed up at his door because my husband wanted his car stuff rather than press charges and have it go to evidence. Wasn't asleep, but when I lived with my ex, we had a few security cameras and they send you alerts when there's motion detected. I was at work and got an alert that there was motion in the living room and I figured it was my ex coming home early, but I checked it anyway. Instead, I saw my dog standing in the middle of the living room staring at the wall. He stood there for a minute and then got on the sofa to sleep. Two things were terrifyingly off about that one. My dog was a puppy at the time and was crated when home alone. The crate is made of solid wood, metal grates and has thick and heavy eye slash hook latches, so there's no conceivable way he could have opened the door too. He was kept in the office, which is located off the hall, and we kept the door separating the living room from the hall closed during the day to keep the room cooler for him. I looked back at the recording because I was very confused and unfortunately because the hall door was closed I couldn't see how his crate got opened. But the hall door opened on its own and he walked out into the living room about 30 seconds later. The hall door was like a regular bedroom door, it closed with a knob slash latch and wouldn't have opened even if you pushed on it. There were no sounds aside from the normal house noises. No cars or people had been in view of the outside cameras since we'd left, and no other motion detections had went off. A couple who would drive by at random hours of the day for a full week would walk up to the house and look at my dogs, pit bulls, look into each window in the front and even check the back gate slash fence. The camera was older and had no notifications, so the only way we knew was the moment they decided to open up the door while I was homesick and were subsequently rushed by my dogs. I heard the commotion and grabbed the only weapon I had, a bat, to find the front door open and what looked like a murder scene in my living room. Blood. Everywhere. All over the floor, the front door, the little entranceway, the window. Turns out I have two very good boys and the idiots went to the hospital to eventually be caught by police. They were going to take my dogs to be in dog fights. Involved in a bunch of other CD things, drugs, prostitution. I have the deal of the week for you. Join my discord, you will get nothing in return for doing so. There is a link in the description.